everybody what is going on today welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial today we're going to be working with shape layers and um, you can get those from using the pen tool or you can use the uh, shape tool so go ahead and just open up a new document it doesn't have, it can be anything and um, make sure it's like a blank document so you can if you want to go along and pick any of the one of these tools um, rectangle tool is what I'm going to use and then the next thing we're going to do is change this to a shape layer. Now the difference between a shape layer and um, one, and like if we use, use like pixels or something like that, um, is that the shape layer, when you make it, it goes onto its own layer, and you have the ability to add a fill. Um, you can add a stroke, and then you can add other things like the layer options, like um, you can add a drop shadow you can colorize it, you can bevel, and a bunch of other things. So let's get on with this and show you what you can do. So let's uh, start with this fill here. Now this is going to fill the inside of the circle where all this white is. So if I select a color, it's like blue maybe, it's going to in insert the fill there. Now the stroke here is what is around the outside. And right now it's red. I could change that to a different color. I could change it to black. And what's going to determine the size of the stroke is this right here. And right now it's at three point. I can move it to less to give it like a, a small stroke, as you can see there. Or I can make it bigger. Oh, that's way too big. And get a more thick stroke. So then we've got our type of stroke here. These are our stroke options. It could be a dotted line. And this looks better when it's smaller. So if I can make these something like this. Like if you want to make a coupon, then you can use this. Um, then we've got smaller dots. And then we've got these corners here. You can round it off the corners. Or you can have end caps on these. You can see that um, it made them round. This one will make it, keep them square. And then this one will, um, not sure what the difference between that one and this one is. Oh, this one um, is goes out past. So this one goes right to the edge of a square and this one goes past. Now we've got our align here where we can align it to the center of the, um, of the fill. We can align it to the inside or on the last one it can align outside like this <clears throat> so let's go to more options here and then we've got more advanced options you can pick from uh, these pre presets and then you could actually make your own and then save it so that's how you make uh, your own fills we've got our dimensions here and this is for the size of the object that you're making the next thing we have up here in the options is the um, options here for dealing with multiple shapes. So the first one we, we can click on here is called Path Operations. If you ever forget what these are, you can just hold on the oh hold your mouse button on and this will pop up. So we got Path Alignment and Path Arrangement. So <clears throat> we've got when you make when you create a new sh a new shape. Right now it's set to new layer. So if I created a new shape make it red it's going to create a new layer well oh yeah it goes by this fill right here so it goes by a new layer now if I go to combine shapes let's change the color here let's do it to oh, that's good enough let's create a new shape now it has combined the shapes here as you can see and the fill goes around both of the shapes now there's other options here we could subtract from a shape make a hole in one of the shapes if we wanted to and then um, there's other that you can go over and check out on your own so just go ahead and mess with those they're pretty easy to figure out then we've got here we've got align to the canvas or we've got um, align to selection now most of these are oops most of these are grayed out um, and I'll go over these in the next tutorial where we talk about arranging shape layers. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and select the 
path selection tool and if you have two shapes on your on uh, one layer you can click one and you're able to drag it out and you can drag these around to interact and they can interact with each other now I've got this one that was cut in and then these so these shapes can interact with each other if you move them around and the uh, fill and strokes uh, move around accordingly <clears throat> the next one we've got here is the uh, if you select um, one of the shapes with the selection tool you can bring that shape to the front send it backwards um, it depends if one shape is overlapping another you can bring it forward using these or send it backwards so it's behind another shape using that so if I select this shape let's make it oh, it's gonna make them both that so um, I actually have to end up showing you that in the next tutorial as well because this, these ones aren't set up for it that way but um, so the what we've got next um, I wanted to show you the uh, fill options so if you click on fill <clears throat> excuse me if you click on fill you have the option to have no fill you have the option to use a solid color here we can use gradients and we can also use patterns so you can keep that in mind when you're making your shapes and we've got our options to add and load patterns and gradients and all that other stuff as well just like um, with anything else same thing um, with the stroke here you can add gradients and things like that to your stroke or turn it off if you would like by clicking on this with the line through it that turns off the stroke and uh, that's all I wanted to go over with about the shape layers for now for this tutorial and then in the uh, next tutorial we can work on arranging the shape layers and messing with them a bit more into a, in more advanced ways so thanks a lot for watching this one and be sure to watch the next tutorial about arranging the layers so you can get more of an understanding have a good one everyone